This is uh this is a lot of bad getting overcharged, so making sure he's a bit more tanky, but still has four cool spray stacks. They're gonna go for the kill. The toss is gonna go. He didn't use the avalanche. It's on cooldown for another two seconds. S4, not getting body blocked. There's the avalanche. They might get the first blood here, and they will. It does get split up, but still a very solid kill. One that I was not mad going toe to toe. Zaya's firefly. There's the hex. Static link's gonna go. He can firefly, but he's, he's already dead. on the high ground here. He's gonna go down to the plasma field. That's a big kill. And Zai actually going down to the line. Meanwhile, mid lane toss again. The quill sprays are up. S4 doesn't have the nasal goo. They will use the overcharge and. They have, again, Shadow Fiend, very effective against S4, very effective. We already talked about the unstable current. Top lane, Telekinesis, Nico and Trouble, body blocks, but Kuroki does get cogged out. There's going to be the usage of the raids, and they get the double raise. Arteezy gets the kill. So good with those raises. And in talking with people like Rotterdam last night, saying that our client would have rotated and secured a kill, solo smoked or something. But uh, this bristle back, like I said, even with a kill onto him, is still going to get someone out of hand. Oh, Loda left in on the trouble. Loda. That's a They're level eight him. enigma. Yeah, Puppy's like, I can use a black hole if I need to, and he, he's probably about to. He will. He catches Loda just on the edge. The tether's going to come through, but that, that doesn't help. Ake has to leave now. S4, no nasal goo, no tether as well. He'll buy a TP scroll, but he's done. Dunzo McDunzo. Mad oh. misses. He whiffs on the earth spike. Mad does have the hex, but I don't think he cares. And Arteezy gets a kill on Pycat bottom. Mad does TP away. But uh, that, that was not a great set of events for, for Alliance there. Yeah. And oh, the, the long range toss from Mad, and then the follow up toss avalanche combo coming in. Wow, that was pretty sick. He tossed it across the river. Matt says, "How are you doing?" Let me just or Spikey and Hexer real quick. That was that was something else. The poor man's blink dagger, right? Yeah. Because you can't actually combo yourself onto the razor. Oh, there's a hook onto Arteezy. Oh my God, Crookie with the instant telekinesis toss av on S4. Look how little damage he takes, and he was facing them actually. Uh, during that combo, and he's going to continue to run at Ake, who has Tether up in six. He could probably relocate out, but yeah, he is going to relocate out. He'll make it away. They'll try to get into a position to fight, but Zai is actually harassing, and now he even gets a last, so they might even get two out of this. If they had just run away, I think maybe they survive. He actually, he was waiting, I think, for his Tether, and he's going to try to Tether to Nico, but he gets Telekinesis so fast that he gets blown up. It was a good try. Zai actually avoids the Avalanche as well. So two quick kills from Secret, they do rotate. Here comes a hook, it actually misses and hits on the creeps. Can he get into range? There's a drum charge that might actually get him into the range of the battery assault, and it does. No TP's either to help him out. They, they realize Arteezy's dead. He overextended going for that tower, and he'll fall. And he also picks up a Morbid Mask, um, maybe a Helm of the Dominator, which is the most common item, I believe, on on Shadow ability. So they, they, don't, they don't only have the unstable current for the Razor, they also have that relocate out in the immediate hex. So Zai is going to have a tough time this game. Hookshot and Dartizi relocated as well. He's kind of alone or his spike's going to go. Do they have finger? Absolutely. Will they need it? Absolutely not. Arteezy's going to fall, but that is just the Aegis. But there's only Zai here, and there's four heroes in the backside. They grab Mad. Relocate could go. No, it's already been used. They relocate out. Mad will go down. Zai continue to chase after Loda. Flame Break is available. Can he cancel the TP? Absolutely. There is follow-up coming. He dodges the Avalanche. The right click from Arteezy. That... That age is proving very useful. There's going to be the Midnight Pulse toss onto Puppy. I mean, that's that's what we're looking for, but we're looking for the toss onto like five heroes, not just the one. And there's no way he's using the Black Hole in that situation. Static Blink onto S4. So he's going to lose all of his damage, but Puppy comes in looking for him. Alphys can't find it. Kuroki's a bit too late to the party. Actually cancels his TP or gets canceled, and he decided uh clawed and fought their way to victory numerous times meanwhile last one's gonna go look at that purge on design it does go away and they're gonna malefice and pie cat is pretty quick he has phased drum and fable's gonna go midnight pulse is doing a lot of damage pie cat does end up falling they have to work very hard for the kill though purge and uh it doesn't last that long so it's kind of unfortunate with tiny pushing up in the top lane there's a tp rotation coming from the bristle back they're gonna get stunned by the the avalanche there of Tiny, and here comes a relocate. The hook, unfortunately, misses. Now Loda. Ooh, big Telkinesis finger on Arteezy. He doesn't get the Requiem off. Toss is going to get the kill. And Loda, realizing that they had S4 TP top, they just 
They know that secret stay too long. Lasso Zai doesn't have it. Toss Avalanche combo is going to go again. He's going to get hexed up. Secret, they're kind of throwing this uh, the advantage away. Plastic Field's going to go. Croaky tosses oh. Fable. He's going to get two. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Toss back onto Kuroki. They're throwing he toss him away at this point. He's going to try to TP away. He might make it and will. Kuroki actually being just the most amazing player on this that, Rubik. That's absolutely incredible. Oh my god. We need a replay of that cuz that was that was an insane play. That was pretty pretty effective as well. Rip Anyway, <laughs> you saw it. It's fine. Hashtag five minutes. Let's go. Long pause coming through. Sai now the lasso up on Deloda. Malthus is going to go black hole on Deloda. Canceled immediately. He got the avalanche off. Oh, that black hole is not what he wanted. Deloda still might fall. Midnight pulse. The right click should be enough. They'll secure the kill. That, that black hole kept him in place long enough for them to actually jump in, get all five heroes nearby. And they get the big target. They get the big tiny with the big tree in his hand. Beat when he pops those face boots. Uh, but he's desperately going to need a BKB, I think. There's that lasso coming out onto Mad. This guy says, please, no. We'll see if they actually continue to mount this pressure. The tier one tower gets clipped up. Pycat runs forward. Hookshot's going to go. It's going to miss. It hits the Frost Mage. It hits the Ogre Frost Mage. Ortiz's Ogre Frost Mage. They get the lasso onto Mad. They've killed Nikwa already. They have buyback on the clockwork. They might have to use it. The rack coming out from both Ake and Loda. They know they can't defend this rack, so it looks like they might come back in eventually. They'll try to trade. Is there a glyph coming out from Secret? Absolutely. They'll TP up top lane. Loda, are they going to relocate him out? They're looking for him. Earth Spike blink onto Ake. Will he get out in time? The black hole onto two. This might be game ending. The flame break. Ake still alive. Finally goes down. Loda left to his own devices. He'll, he can try to TP, but he's so low. 172 HP. Meanwhile, at bottom lane, the Raxes are already gone. Fade Bolt, Loda, ring around the rose of the tree, keeping him alive. He will end up falling with no buyback. S4 gets the tier three tower mid and secret about to take this series 2-0 it looks like, or at least two sets of Raxes, maybe not. Pycat running in, they finger off S4. Pycat does get Requiemed. Artis is gonna try to TP away. It looks like, no, the hook shot comes in. It was just up for Niqua, just respawning, just coming off cooldown. Artis goes down. He buys a full Shadow Blade before he dies. They don't get both set of Raxes, I spoke too soon. And actually, Alliance they hold, despite losing a lot of heroes in the broad. Didn't do enough to the top tower to really make it worth it at all. And as you mentioned, oh, okay, Lion did pick up his blink, so I guess that was good for him. But uh, AC, almost on the way for Tiny. He needs about 700 gold. Highcat, awesome. he's being lasso, but he's, oh, he barely gets enough movement speed to put him up on the ledge right there. He has the TP. He actually, Flame Break's gonna go. It's gonna, not gonna push him off the cliff either, and it looks like Pycat's in trouble. The to toss back, though, but it's onto Kuroki, and Kuroki takes the kill easily, who, by the way, still toss again. Puppy doesn't have holes, so they actually just have to relocate out. And uh, they will back up. There's no way they are fighting this. The Wisp will come back. It's a nice idea by Loda by trying to toss him over that ledge onto a hero. Uh, but he just took too much damage and it was just too late. So here comes uh, Niqua. He sees him on the high ground. Puppy's in some trouble. It's very Puppy. tanky though. Yeah, Bloodstone, 13 charges. He has the mech as well. Black Hole still not there. Toss Ava could do enough and will. And that's down now. As for being mana drained, getting kind of low in that mana pool, but still enough to fight. Look at the damage with the DD onto Mad. Zai should get the skill of great Yules up onto Loda. He won't go anywhere. Toss further, trying to get them out. Ake okay, trying to relocate up in six. Not there. Do they have any way to cancel the TP? No. Meanwhile, mid lane, they find Nikwa. He pops the blade mail for only a moment longer before he does go down. Tiny does buy the Assault Kuros. That might be enough. Hookshot comes through, I think. No, it's actually the last one to Pycat, bringing him back. The right click from Arteezy. And that is GG Alliance going down 0-2. And, and they fought their best. And they go for the Visage combo in the first game. They go for the Tiny Isle combo in the second game. But Secret picked the heroes they're comfortable with. And boy, did they play well. Um, I, I just think overall the Secret played.